Hey, welcome back to Master Guitar Fret. My name is Yurik. In this lesson, we're going to do Eric Clapton's Rocking Chair. A very nice song, lots of chords, a beautiful progression. I'll record it, the whole thing for you, me playing, along with the lyrics appearing in writing. I played it in 100 beats per minute, which is a little bit faster than recording. The video of this is at the very end of this, okay, so you don't have to check it out if you don't want to. We're going to go right into the chords and then we're going to break down the song into segments, okay? And then if you want to, you can check the song out at the very end, okay? Um, remember, I have some goods for you down in the description. Uh, there is a chord sheet that you can download. There's a link to uh, Air Clapton's performance, as well as a link to a backing track or download. I'm not sure what it's going to be, okay? So remember to subscribe and uh, enjoy the lesson. Take care. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, let's look at the chords for rocking chair. Uh, I have a chord sheet in the description below if you want to check it out and download it. And if you don't need to watch this, I'm just going to show you the chords. You can skip forward. Okay, the chords for rocking chair. So it's in E. There's also an E7. There's an A, there's an A7, so there's a B7, actually there's a B flat, B flat, okay, and then there's a C sharp 7, basically a C7, move it down, there's a C9, there's a D, there's a B sharp minor there's an E flat 7 right here same shape as the C7 on the 4th fret and then there's an A flat minor an F sharp and I believe that's it Let's break down rocking chair into segments, into patterns, because there's all these chord patterns and there's a lot going on. So it's best to just break it down, okay? So first we want to look at the strumming. Uh, what I'm playing, I'm not quite sure <laughs> what everybody else is, but to me it feels best with a down, down, up, down, up, down, up pattern, okay? So down, down, up, down, up, down, up. I'll demonstrate it. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you can do a little bit of palm muting. Down, 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 up. Mute, down, up, down, up. So each time I mute. So I'll demonstrate that again. Down, down, up. So that's what I'm using, with the exception of the intro. That's a little uh, different, but not that hard. Now, if you're a beginner, and I know there's a lots of chords here, so you could just kind of strum the first one. Okay, so you can just strum one. If you just want to learn those chords, and you're not quick enough yet to change, just choose your poison. We're gonna start with pattern one, which is kind of the intro to the song, but pattern one will kind of reoccur again during the song, okay? So pattern one is, I'm gonna play it. So you noticed we're playing E, 
we're playing a C sharp seven. This is basically a C seven move down one uh, fret, and then a C nine, and then a B seven. Okay, the strumming is not down, down, up, down, up. Okay, it's uh, just down, down, up, down, down, up for the first two chords, down, down, up for E, and down, down, up for C sharp seven. And then on the C9 we go down, up, down, up. And we do this four times, okay? In the recording it's four times. The first two times it's just the guitar, and then on the third and fourth time he plays a little bit of a lead, okay? So you can either do it four times or you just do it two times. Okay, so that's the intro pattern. The second pattern is E, D, C sharp minor, and an A7. Okay? So that is pattern uh, two, E, D, C sharp minor, and an A7. And the normal down, down, up, down, up, down, up uh, strumming. So that's pattern two. Pattern three is basically the intro pattern again. E, C sharp 7, C9, and B7, but this time we're going to do the full down, down, up, down, up, down, up strumming, okay? Okay, so that's number 3, very similar to the intro number 1. Number four is E, C sharp minor, an E flat seven, an A flat minor, an F sharp, a B seven, an E, and an E seven. So there's quite a bit going on in this segment, okay? So I'm gonna play it here. Number four. Number five would, is going to be A, A7, a B flat, an E, a B7, and an E. Okay, so I'm going to play. Okay, so there's a couple of quicker changes there. I'm playing it again. Okay, number six coming out of that would be C sharp minor, uh, E flat 7, and A flat 7, F sharp, and B7. We've done those in basically in uh, pattern 4, but we're doing it again just a little faster. It goes from goes into pattern seven, which is basically bad pattern two repeated, but pattern seven. And then it 
goes into the rocking chair kind of ending of that first verse. Okay. And then it goes into the lead solo. And the lead solo is basically pattern two and pattern three. Okay, so we just came out of this. Uh, rocking chair. Solo starts. And then of course, now the uh, vocals come back in, and then you would play uh, pattern four, five, six, and seven again. So after you played the whole section four, five, six, seven again, then we're gonna play eight again, right? <laughs> Then we go to second turnaround on that eighth pattern, which you can call the ninth pattern now, is that C sharp seven. Okay, basically sings that rocking chair vocals twice. Okay, so I'm going to play it one more time for you. C sharp seven. So then, of course, right after that, it goes back into that intro. Uh, pattern one for three times I believe okay to finish the song but it happens very quickly right so again I'm gonna play this one more time So that is that tune all broken down into sections and uh, maybe you just tackle one section at a time, play along with the recording, which links are in my description. So I do hope you have fun with this tune. It's a nice little blues, slow blues with lots of chords. So nice song. So have fun with it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.